Yes, Major Tannen. Yeah, Herr Colonel. Destroyed? But... But Herr Colonel! Surrender? Yeah. Yeah. Destroy everything. And it left. Kind of a creep joint, wasn't it? Oh, get that air. And I think that that was the place that the Nazis turned out that counterfeit American money back in 1944. $20 bills, according to the guidebook. Incidentally, listen to this. Anyhow, here. The bodies of five men who were apparently operating the press were found machine gunned within the cave. Oh. It is believed they were killed by the commanding officer just prior to the surrender of Germany. A cold-blooded thing to do. Oh, Biff. Huh? I've just got one more film left in my new camera. No, honey, it'll keep. No, I want to take a picture of you over there by that road mark. Okay. Come on now. You know, they never did find those plates. What plates? The plates of the double sawbuck. Talk English. The $20 bills that Hitler and company were turning out. Well, they were probably destroyed. Yeah, I'll bet the Treasury Department would like to be sure of that. Oh, for heaven's sakes, honey, put that pamphlet away. Come on now, act like a big import-export man. <clears throat> Honey, look out! Oh, Bill, sit down. Of all the stupid, idiotic tricks I ever saw, something's wrong with my legs. Oh, oh I don't know. In fact, I'd say not bad. Not bad at all. I wonder what the Drolian speed limit is. I don't know. I'll ask the next cop that comes along. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. And we were told this was the perfect place to get away from everything. <sighs> Guten Tag. Kunen Sie mir bitte den Weg zu... Hey, you're my kind of people. Ah, it's uh... nice to find such a small world sometimes, huh? <laughs> Biff Baker, this How is my do? wife, Louise. I'm glad to know you. Alan's my name. Thomas Roger Allen. My friends call me Tommy. Nice to know you, Tommy. Where was this you were trying to get to? Oh, any place I can park this very old carcass of mine for the night. A hotel or a motel or just a plain farmhouse will do. Well, there's a lovely little inn just around the bend. I'm sure they could put you up. Well, great. Yeah, as a matter of fact, we're staying down here. We were just heading back. Well, hop right in. Alan's fresh air taxi service. If we get a puncture, turn off the meter. I'll give you a flat rate. This guy's going to be tough to be around. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you wouldn't be a writer, would you? Oh, this typewriter gives me away every time. In. Here we go. Ready?
Yeah. You can give me accommodations? Yeah, but you cannot expect much service. Yesterday, the chambermaid left without giving me notice. Today, the cook was called to the bedside of her daughter in Vienna. For the time being, I am the whole staff. I will only be here for the night. You are passing through on your way somewhere? Yes, somewhere. You have been here before, yeah? Never. Why? I do not own this place long, so I like to ask. Hmm. From Buenos Aires. And an importer. You will be glad to know we have another importer stopping here. An American he is. Herr Baker. With him is his wife. Please, if you will show me to my room. At once, Herr uh, Rodriguez. Why do you find so interesting? The scar, mein Herr. What about the scar? I did not know there was dueling in Buenos Aires. A, a piece of glass from a windshield, if you must know. This afternoon. Really? I'm going in and give that guy a piece of my mind. Now, honey, let's not start an international incident, huh? The guy probably didn't even see us. Well, then he better say so. Out of my way. Senor Thomas Rodriguez. If he's an importer from Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires, huh? That's one place we haven't been. It kind of bothers her. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Muller, we have a new guest for you. Mr. Muller, this is Tommy Allen. Hello, Mr. Muller, how are you? Not so well. Today, even the cook left. Oh, that won't be fatal. In an emergency, I've been known to fry a mean pancake myself. How long will you be here? Not long. Got to keep moving, looking around for new stories. Mr. Allen is a very distinguished author. Hey, take it easy. I'm just a freelance magazine hack. I get by on quantity, not quality. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot for the guidebook, Mr. Muller. We sure had an interesting morning. It's the cave. Tommy, I've got a wonderful story for you to write about. Cave? What do you mean? Well, well out near where we picked you up, there's a cave where the Nazis made American counterfeit money during the war. Hey, sounds promising. Oh, now, this yes. is a real creep joint. I do not think it is a good thing to write about this. Why not? The war is over. No use stirring up hate in American hearts. Well, a story's a story, Mr. Muller. I don't think my stuff will make anybody hate Germans, only Nazis. Be they past or present. i show you to your room. Home sweet home. Been ever so humble, there's no place like home. You're a fine one to mumble. We've never had a home. Very lovely voice, Mrs. B. How about the sentiment, Mr. B? Sentiment? Honestly, Biff, don't you ever get tired of living out of a suitcase? Oh, sometimes, but then we've got big suitcases. Yeah, genuine leather, too. Hey, you're not getting homesick, are you? Is that against the rules? I'm sorry, honey. I, I guess it just shows some nights more than others. Honey, I caught up with a letter from the folks last week. They said that little white house up in Connecticut still had a for sale sign on it. Honey, I don't want a house. I want a home. That takes two people. Well, maybe the boss can spot me a job in the United States. I'll write him tonight. Well, you'll do no such thing. This is your job, and we're doing fine. I just get kind of low sometimes. Why shouldn't you? I haven't given you much of a home life. Dragging you on the planes and trains and hauling you from one hotel to the other all over the world. I've often wondered how you could take it so long. If I'm lucky. But just think half the people in the world would jump at a chance to travel the way we do. Maybe. But being on a permanent cook's tour isn't really living. But being together is. And you think you're the lucky one. Come on, honey, we gotta get ready for dinner. You wanna do something for me? Okay, yeah. Hang this up over there. Be it ever so humble, there's no place like home. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. 
What a night. Oh, it's beautiful. Honey, what do you think about checking out in the morning? Now, Biff, the dinner wasn't that bad. Well, I wasn't thinking of just the cooking. Well, then why? What's the matter? Oh, it's Herr Muller. He's just getting under my skin. Seems that he hates all his guests. Now, Biff Baker, you are trying to find an excuse to get back to business. This is a vacation, remember? We are staying as planned. Okay, honey. But if Muller makes... Hello there. You're Senor Rodriguez, aren't you? See? Si. Well, my name is Baker, Biff Baker. This is my wife, Mrs. Baker. How do you do? We missed you at dinner time. I wasn't that hungry. Uh, headache. Well, that makes us even. You just barely missed us before dinner. I, uh, I beg your pardon? My wife was just making a little joke. <laughs> we noticed you're from Buenos Aires. That is correct. But you and I are in the same business. You know, importing. What firm are you with? I am uh, by myself. Bet I know what you're doing here. You do? Sure, the textile mills of Rendor. Is that you, Tommy? Yeah, hi, Biff. Well, come on in, join the party. Senor Rodriguez, Tommy Allen. I'm glad to know you, Senor. Going for a stroll? I was, but I, I have changed my mind. My headache is worse. So if you will excuse me. Kind of a queer duck, isn't he? The first importer I ever met that didn't want to talk shop. Biff, there's something wrong with that man. He gives me the creeps. Oh, well, he's no beauty. He has the face of a man that can commit murder. Hey, you two sound like a couple of mystery writers. Quit poaching, that's my racket. <laughs> How about a game of three-handed cards? Your deck, I suppose. Well, naturally, you don't think I make a living writing, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Honey, let's get out the colored glasses and our deck. We have got a pigeon. Oh, come on, you two phonies. I'll spot you 50 points and still trim you. You're right. off. <laughs> Will you the sugar? Oh, no. Uh, Not again. <laughs> Come on, got your point. Six, seven, fourteen. Fourteen. Twenty-three. Twenty-three and twenty-five for Jen. Ah, that gentleman is another blitz. You had enough? Plenty, I'm convinced. <laughs> Look, if you want to go on supporting your wife, Biff, it's okay by me, but I'm going to Biff. <laughs> Wait a minute, we'll go with you. Come on, Klondike. Oh, by the way, if I should get ambitious before breakfast in the morning and decide to take a look at that cave, where do I find it? Well, the shortest way is up that embankment behind that road marker that says Rendorf 20 kilometers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'll hit a path that you take to the left. Then you cross a gully, and on the other side, there's a path that cuts over it. This time, you turn to the right. Oh, no, Biff, you turn to the left. It's coming back that you no, turn honey, right. No, you're all confused. Honey, Don't I you distinctly remember... Okay, what... okay. I know how we can settle this. Muller's guidebook has a map on everything. Biff, don't you think we ought to wait and ask him first? Well, I haven't seen him around all evening. It's a good thing he hasn't been around. If he knew why he wanted it, he'd probably turn us down, huh? Well, that point you made, Tommy, about the distinction between Germans and Nazis, it didn't win Muller over. <laughs> You're right. Oh, here it is. Well, now we know the reason. What does this mean? Well, that was going to be my question. You see, we were looking for the local guidebook. You Americans. Always you get into what is none of your business. Always you try to take over. Good night, Mr. Muller. You coming, Tommy? Yeah. Yeah, I'm coming. Bill, maybe you're right. Maybe we should leave in the morning. Although up until now, it's been a very nice vacation. Gee, I sure hope those snapshots that I took turn out. Oh, no. Oh, oh golly. Oh. Gee. I left it down to the road marker. Biff. Biff. Oh, my wonderful new camera. I left it down by the road marker. Oh, it's all right, honey. It won't run away. We'll get it the first thing in the morning. But, Biff, it was your anniversary present to me. I wouldn't have lost that for anything. Now I won't be able to sleep a wink for worrying about it. Come to bed, honey. Biff, I'm not going to leave that camera out there all night. Somebody might take it. <laughs> now, don't you worry about a thing, honey. I'll be right back. That's right, dear. Go to sleep. Oh! 
Oh, it's you. Yeah? I, I've never been so frightened in all my life. Yeah? I, uh, I left my camera around here somewhere this afternoon. You, you didn't happen to see it, did you? What happened to the road marker? What's the matter? Why are you... <laughs> Louise? Louise, where? Camera. Her new camera. Road marker. Oh, no! Darling, you all right? What happened? I don't know. He choked me. Who? That Rodriguez. Oh, Ben. No, now, take it easy, honey. All right, come on now, from the beginning. My camera, don't you remember? I told you that I was coming back here to the road market to get it. I'm sorry, honey. I must have been half asleep. I don't even remember you saying that. Well, come on. When I got here, he, he was already here. He was kneeling over the road marker, and he was holding some kind of a package. A package? What kind of a package? I, I don't remember. It wasn't very thick, and it was about so long and about so wide. You mean about the size of a $20 bill? Yeah, sure. But, Biff, what are you driving at? It's fantastic. Those must have been the plates. Don't you get it, honey? The kind of for $20 plates. They were hidden under the road marker there. No wonder the senor didn't want to talk about importing. Biffy kept saying, yeah, yeah. I, I don't think he's Spanish at all. German. Well, sure, it figures. Rodriguez knew where the plates were hidden. And he came back to get them. Come on, honey, let's go. Oh. It's all right, honey. It's Rodriguez. He won't bother you. Somebody took a shot at him. Who did it? I don't know, but I've got a pretty good idea. Let's get out of here. You sure you can make it? Nothing could keep me here for another mm. minute. Oh, wait a minute. Here. When I think how close this came to getting you killed... Mm. You want to rest a minute? Yeah. Here. Biff, you know who killed Rodriguez, don't you? No, but I've got a pretty good hunch. Then what's all the hurry to get back to the inn? Well, there's a dead man back there. This is something for the police. Exactly, but not for Biff Baker. I'm beginning to get the same hunch you have. Take it easy. Uh, honey, we've had enough for one night. Let's... Wait here. Biff, I'm afraid. Stay here. Now that it's all over, you show up. Uh, Wait a minute, I just better make sure it is all over. <clears throat> Dead? No, he's just unconscious. Like I was, huh, Tommy? Yeah, I'm afraid so. Sorry to keep you in the dark, Biff. I'm not a writer. You're a darn good actor. Intelligence or FBI? Treasury Department. It's an old counterfeit money sleuth. Well, then it was the coming out party for those counterfeit plates that brought you here. Right. We've been waiting since 1944 for Major Tannen to return to Germany and resurrect those money plates. Biff! It's all right, honey. Meet Tommy Allen, Treasury agent. Treasury agent? One of the roughest cases we've ever been on. You see, Rodriguez was Major Tannen, the chief officer in charge of the counterfeiting operation. Right? Right. When Major Tannen left Buenos Aires for Germany, I was on the same boat. Well, then what about Muller? I don't know. We haven't identified him yet. My guess is that he was an ex-Nazi who also knew that Major Tannum was the officer in charge of the counterfeiting money plant. But I still don't get his connection with all this. Well, he's been waiting all these years to get his mitts on those plates, too. But tonight, out at the road marker... Well, Rodriguez, that is Major Tannen, sneaked out of the inn while we were playing cards. Muller must have followed him. While the senior was choking you, Muller shot him, grabbed the plates, and I was waiting for him when he got back here. You knew he'd come back here? Well, he needed a car for the getaway. Sure, of course. Uh, 
Now look, I'm going down to Rendorf and get the police. You think you can handle him till I get back? He ripped out all the phone wires. Well, sure. Uh, Tommy. Yeah? The police. Oh, they'll be all right, right where they are. Say that Muller ripped out the phones, didn't you? Yeah, sure, but what's that got to... Well, that was Tommy Allen's last lie. Louise, he's not an American agent. Bib, what are you talking about? What do you mean? I'll show you. Here's what Tommy killed Rodriguez for. And would have killed me, too. Well, except for you, Baker. Thanks, Bib. Supposing we get a fix on you, Muller. Where do you come in? From the beginning, Baker. And you can call me Miller, since that's my name. Here are my credentials. Special Agent, United States Secret Service. But what about him? Alan was born an American, brought up an American. But he fought on the side of Hitler. Tommy Allen. Sometimes it's pretty hard to tell a phony from the real thing. No, I, I think you should be smoking your pipe. Oh! Yeah, yeah. Good. <laughs> Gee, it's a shame I had only one film left. Well, honey, I better go out and get our things. That bus from Rendorf will be along any minute. Wait. You know, Baker, there's one question I neglected to ask you in all the excitement last night. Yeah? You said it wasn't only the ringing of the phone that put you wise to Alan. Yes, Biff, what? Well, you see, Tommy told me that while Rodriguez was choking Louise, you shot and killed him. So? Well, who told Tommy about your being choked? Now, he claimed he was nowhere near that road marker. Oh. And the clincher was my getting here while he was still tangling with you. Now, he didn't get the plates off you, and yet he had them. So he had to be the one that took them away from Rodriguez. Good work, Baker. Oh, well, must be the bus. Guten Tag. Können Sie mehr? Hey, you're my kind of people. My name's Smith. I tried to make a phone call here for a reservation last night, but there was no answer. You see, I'm a freelance magazine writer. And I heard about a cave here, so... Come on, honey, this is where we came in. 